You are listening to Toronto's only pure metal show, The Red Switch. I'm AJ, I play bass for Mutiny with them. Nice. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, the CDs are being sold in the US or Europe already, but already we've got a copy in Canada and there's a sticker right on the side that says, the future of metal. What's good or bad about that statement? <laughs> well, it's bad because it looks like we wanted it there. <laughs> um, and it's good because the label believes in us. And they, we've heard on many occasions that they really truly, truly believe that, um, that this record could be the start of something new. So uh, we have a lot to live up to, but we're excited for it and we think we can. Nice. Uh, for many people in the metal world, uh, Mutiny Within seems to uh, snuck up on a lot of people. Obviously that's not true, you guys have been at it for a while, you've been doing a lot of work with the band uh, and working on a lot of music. How have things changed since signing to Roadrunner Records and especially touring with a band like Arch Enemy? Uh, yeah, things have just gotten busy. Um, you signed to Roadrunner, we made a record, it took a year. And then we toured with Soulfly, then Periphery, and now with Arch Enemy, and then we're going to be booked all year as well. So, yeah, you're on a major label. Uh, they're gonna work you, but with good reason. So, um, you know, you get, we got the deal, and this is all starting. The stream's starting to come true. So, we're excited to see where it can go this year. So before it was more like a hobby, more uh, like a passion. Now it's become an actual job. Yeah, it was never just a hobby though. Like I, you know, a few of us dropped out of school, um, and you know, uh, I just woke up every day and went to sleep at night, and every day was just mutiny you know, in between all that. Uh, so it was never just a hobby. I, since high school, I knew I wanted to do this professionally, but um, it became a reality when the, uh, when the deal came through. So. You guys have pretty much just kicked off your North American tour. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, I hear you guys just played in Quebec, and uh, that was a blast. Uh, how was that show? Yeah, that was sick. And then Montreal the day uh, before that. Well, Quebec City was yesterday, and then Montreal was the day before. It was awesome. Canada, wow. We didn't know what to expect. We've never played uh, internationally before. So, you know, uh, it's, it's really been amazing. Um, we can't believe the response. And, you know, we don't even have a record out yet. So it really shows the, that through the internet and through Roadrunner, our music, I guess our single, <laughs> has traveled. And people have heard it. And, uh, you know, they were excited to see us before we even went on. And they don't know any of our songs. They're just literally hearing them for the first time live. So. Uh, that's probably pretty cool for most people, um, and yeah, I mean, uh, the American shows on this tour have been sick, and then the Canada shows have been just uh, sick, if not sicker, so, yeah. yeah. Most likely it's going to get better because this is pretty much just the start of your tour, so you have a lot more shows all the way up until uh, the beginning of spring. Uh, AJ, you're the one who formed this group, correct? Yeah. How is it that so many musically fluent members got to join your group, and uh, how is it they uh, developed this sound? It was a long search. I've had the band for probably eight, nine years now. Um, none of these members started it with me. I started it in high school with a friend. And I've been through so many members. I mean, uh, the philosophy the whole time was just that I wanted to do this professionally. And if you didn't, you're out. <laughs> And if you're not working hard, you're out. If you're not on top of your game. So, you know, it's, I guess that's hard for most people just to, you know, be so passionate to wake up and, and do this every single day um, and be the best it can be. And, you know, a lot of things get in the way. You got school and friends and everyone gets distracted. Um, and the people in the band now, which is the uh, definitely the lineup, no doubt, um, they all know what's important. And they all work uh, so hard at it. And they're all, we're all like becoming, uh, you know, professionals at, at this. So, um, you know, it was a long road. And now that we're together and it came together as musicians, now we're actually all best friends too. So it really worked out. Got a great group of guys here. From day one, did you ever have a, a clear mindset of what Mutiny Within Sound is supposed to be? And uh, has that sound sort of been preserved to this point or has it evolved and changed? over the course of uh, different members and uh, all the years. Absolutely, it's evolved and changed. There's no, you know, this isn't a, none of this happened by accident. None of this was magic. This was a lot of hard work. Um, 
to put the lineup together was the first huge struggle. Um, all the while writing music and trying to find a sound. And then a big piece of the puzzle was our singer Chris coming in because first of all he's actually he's a producer engineer so he's able to record our demos and everything so that was just a huge step that we could actually write songs and record them right away instead of writing songs and playing them live and they're sitting around for months and nothing ever happens. So that was a huge step and then just the sound really evolved from there into what it is. I, I knew that I, I knew what kind of band I wanted it to be but I never thought it would go this far. I never thought the sound that I'd be so incredibly happy t with it and that the whole band's happy with it to the point where you know this music is what we put on just to listen for pleasure not you know not necessarily the fact that it's our band you know this actually is you know my favorite uh, my favorite music this metal that uh, that we're doing so um, it's it's pretty cool it wasn't you know I, I didn't really see it clear um, it's definitely evolved and changed definitely changed over the years uh, you guys are pretty adept at uh, interesting updates and touring and recording. Has the web defined you guys in a way over the years? I mean, people have called you guys the Guitar Hero generation. <laughs> no, the web's the whole thing. It is. Um, you know, you can't get it out there uh, to stay in age. I mean, uh, otherwise, you know, kids, they surf on MySpace, they, they give a band 15 seconds and then they're on to the next, you know? So, um, and that's what I do. I do the same thing. I search for bands all day and um, so the web's been the whole thing and we're meeting people and people are, you know, the whole, th this whole tour, everyone's known about us before we even hit the stage and we don't have a record out. The, the reason for that is the internet. Bottom line, Facebook, MySpace, the Roadrunner website, um, just all the promotions and Kite, Kite doing our video uploads, YouTube, it's all, it's the whole thing. It really is. Is there one overarching concept that unites the entire group? Um... I mean, the music, I don't know, it might sound cliche, cliche or uh, cheesy, but it's true. Uh, yeah. We all, that unites the entire group is the music, and that's the first and most important thing. And uh, all day we're going, you know, from place to place, and we're hungry, and we want to sleep, and the van needs gas, and we're running out of money, you know, this and that, and this and that. But once we hit the stage, it, all problems are gone, and we're having the time of our lives. So that's, uh, that's the underlying concept. You've been in Canada for the past few days now, played a couple of great shows in uh, Quebec. Is there any one thing that you think of when you think of Canada? <laughs> well, now I think that they're fucking crazy. Um, they are, they're nuts. I mean, the, the first show, show in Montreal was the best show we've ever played in our entire lives. Um, hands down, I mean, the whole place just erupted. And we're the first of four bands, you know. We don't have a record, so we didn't expect that. And, and then, you know people uh, coming up to shaking hands, signing autographs for almost an hour after the show. I mean, that's never happened to us. It was really a dream come true. So um, that's, that's what I'll always remember, and hopefully every time we come back, it gets even bigger and bigger. Hopefully. Uh, what has been your most uh, memorable, uh, inspirational uh, gig or show so far? I, you just called me with that one. That's the Montreal one, definitely. Montreal one, yeah. that, I mean, you ask the whole band. Ask anyone in the band what was your favorite ever Muni show. They'll say Montreal. Um, and then Quebec City was, I mean, that was just as good, but Montreal probably just because it was the first Canadian show we ever did, and the response was just overwhelming. So that's, that'll always stick in our heads. I have a tough question for you. Why is abbreviated such a long word? <laughs> um, can you abbreviate abbreviated? ABB? You can say abbreviate. Abbreviate? Like people say, uh, oh, like, uh, that's so ridiculous. Or that's whatever. So <laughs> that's a new one to me. Uh, you never heard that? Uh, I've never heard that um, one. American Girls. American Girls? They say that stuff, yeah. Oh, uh, I thought it was a television show. No. So American Girls actually say that. Yeah. That's so ridiculous. Or uh, we should dress cash tonight. Oh, really? <laughs> you never heard this stuff? No. That's great. I'm calling your name. So what's left of this broken?